And uh, that's the reason why we wanted to investigate this. Kung merong talagang involvement yung uh, ganong klase ng, uh, uh, ng uh, pagbabanta that uh, we heard in the other committee, but not in this uh, committee. The first thing is Jade Castro is our member. Uh, he became a member last year. Um, just to give you a brief idea, the Directors Guild uh, is a 30-year-old private organization founded in 1994. From the uh, group of the PNP, we will be allowing uh, uh, yung members of the uh, the Directors uh, Guild uh, to give your your comments on uh, this issue if you wanted to uh, give your uh, manifestation on what had happened or the point of view of the uh, Directors Guild. Uh, we will give you the chance no, para marilay po yung inyo pong uh, mga sentiments. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, the I am the Vice Chair uh, uh, Vice President of the Directors Guild of the Philippines, and with me are, are, are members and former president, former president of the DGPI, Paulo Villaluna, um, Peterson Varg, Director Peterson Vargas, and Director Keith Sikat. Um, we in the Directors Guild, we've been following this case uh, uh, before before this moment. We've been following this case basically through the media reports, and we are uh, very concerned about um, the the. Basically, our, our interest here is uh, there are two things. We'd like to vet for the character of Jade Castro as a member, and the other thing is we are, are concerned, uh, since this is a uh, hearing in aid of legislation, we are concerned about, um, we, we hope that legislation would ensure that our rights are protected as citizens and uh, as a basic, uh, just a common citizen and, and also as directors, we, we, we move around a lot in the different provinces, location hunting and all of that kind of thing, preparing for our shoots. We are concerned that, uh, you know, that uh, we are just uh, respect, yeah, are not wrongfully uh, accused. Um, so uh, the first thing is Jade Castro is our member. Uh, he became a member last year. Um, just to give you a brief idea, the Directors Guild uh, is a 30-year-old private organization founded in 1994. And um, it's, it's, a, it's one of the longest serving guilds. Uh, and and um, we've been very active in, in uh, protecting and upholding directors' rights, uh, basically in the film industry, and also we've been vocal on certain issues in the industry as well as the national issues that affect, you know, affect um, our, our work, particularly freedom of expression, and generally freedoms are, are, are you know, common freedoms. Uh, Jade, uh, to be a member of of this group, we are about 100 members now, 105 members, and. Um, to be a member, uh, uh, the member uh, you have to be invited uh, and to be vetted by all nine members of the board of directors. Any single uh, negative vote would would, dis would 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 disqualify the would would basically not allow that uh, uh, the member the the person in consideration uh, would not be admitted as a member. So, uh, in the case of Jade Castro, was one of the members who went through this process and all nine members of the board uh, last year uh, have vetted for him. Um, I, I, I don't know him as well, personally, as uh, the three other directors beside me today, and they can talk more, you know, more about his his character. But uh, I can say that, you know, we're, we, we do respect his work and... He, and um, and he has directed uh, films like Zumba Dings and, and uh, what's the other one? Uh, Endo, uh, which, which have been, you know, which have been uh, uh, well respected locally and, and uh, internationally. Um, so, yes, that, that's the first thing. We've, we vet for his, uh, for his work, for his character. Uh, it's very hard to see the director of those films to be an arsonist. Uh, the second thing is our concern. Uh, uh, we've been following the media reports, and I don't know. Di ko naman narinig sa account ngayon about. Uh, we just heard about the identification of the of the by witnesses, no, of of uh, Jade Castro as as one of those um, there. But uh, from what I've been f uh, seeing in the media accounts, is that the. Uh, 
and I don't know if this is uh, you know, a correct or, or, or mistaken uh, appreciation of the news, but uh, from what I remember is that the, uh, the, the, the witnesses identified uh, the four arsonists who were under, who were invisible, whose faces were invisible under bonnets. So uh, whereas, uh, yung pag-identify ng dalawang LGU official, officials of Mulanay, of, uh, of Jade Castro and his friends, the, those L, uh, Mulanay LGU officials I, identified uh, unbonneted, uh, you know, uh, Jade Castro and his friends who were not under bonnets and they were in plain sight. They were identified as having been uh, in, in Mulanay at the time of, of the, the, the incident took place. So uh, clearly, I mean, it seems to me from the media accounts that um, the LGU officials positively identified Jade Castro and his friends in Mulanay at the time that the arson was taking place in Katanawan, uh, which is from my understanding, at least 20 minutes away from Mulanay, 20 to 30 minutes away. So our concern as uh, the Directors Guild is that since this is in aid of legislation, we hope that legislation would be, you know, ang ano lang namin, sana mas ma, in, maybe in law, mas mapahalagahan yung positive identification of, of people who are not cloaked in bonnets who are, or, or, who are in plain sight over the identification of people who are, you know, kind of like uh, concealed under other ki uh, articles of clothing. So, yun ang ano lang namin is how do you, uh, you know, some, since something in legislation could sana protect the rights of, of people, uh, you know, ma mas mapahal mapahalagahan naman, mabalanse yung, yung appreciation of the two <laughs> kinds of evidence, the two kinds of, uh, you know, we're concerned that hindi masyado napahalagahan yung positive identification of the LGU, um, of LGU uh, officials of Mulanay, of Jade being in Mulanay at that time. So that's our concern, and uh, uh, but my three other uh, director colleagues here can talk more about Jade, and um, thank you for your time. Thank you so much, uh, Director uh, um, uh, Sigyon Reina. And that's a reason and very essence of why we have um, uh, conducted this hearing and uh, we have invited as well the witnesses for us to be educated you know, and knowledgeable of what transpired uh, in spite that they have uh, been uh, reported that uh, they are uh, the, the uh, accused uh, were all wearing you know, yung mga bonnets and uh, later on we will be asking them as well and uh, with regards naman po doon sa uh, I think yung ating uh, sinumpang salaysay ng mga witnesses or uh, those people who have been uh, together with uh, with the group of the accused, uh, we have been, I think we have invited also those uh, uh, witnesses, sila Angelito Amisola and uh, Joel Tadeja. Uh, I asked them to be invited. Uh, if not, we will be asking to uh, them to be here as well. And at the same time, um, um, the uh, Republic Act Number no? 7438, uh, ito yung uh, the certain rights of person arrested, detained, or under custodial investigation, as well as the duties of the arresting, de uh, detaining, and investigating officers, are uh, here to be reviewed. Uh, if there are some violation that was committed uh, under the uh, police procedures, then it is what we wanted to find out in this hearing. Uh, Later on, we will be asking as well yung ating pong mga witnesses, no? Uh, but uh, we have to uh, protect them as well, no? Dahil, uh, alam nyo, medyo meron pong mga some, um, what do you call this, um, investigation that we are conducting under the uh, the uh, committee of uh, Congressman Akop, wherein yung mga uh, allegation as well that yung mga drivers na mga PUBs or yung mga traditional are uh, threatening. No? Yung kasi yung manawawala sila eh. And uh, that's the reason why we wanted to investigate this. Kung meron talagang involvement yung uh, ganong klase ng, uh, uh, ng uh, pagbabanta that uh, we heard in the other committee. But not in this uh, committee. But of course, uh, we cannot verify the truthfulness of all those things, but of course, we will try to dig deeper on this for us to be prepared. Ano? Doon sa modernization na ginagawa natin, na alam naman natin na hindi acceptable sa lahat ng tao. Anyway, um, the chair would like to uh, 
Ako na, let's the presence of Congresswoman Ardina Brosas.